Welcome to Soapbox Derby Racing. You're about to start an adventure that you're going to remember for a lifetime, building and then racing your own Soapbox Derby car. The Soapbox Derby program is a great learning experience for kids and adults, an opportunity to develop a mutual respect and trust, individual pride and sportsmanship. I'm Jared Zimmerman, this is Brittany, this is Gavin, this is my team and we're going to show you how to build a soapbox derby car. We're going to take a look at the tools you need, we're going to show you each step of the process, we're also going to give you some helpful tips that will help you along the way as well as show you places where you can get other information if you need it. Now the video is based on this, the written plans that came with your car's kit and it's also designed to show you exactly how to build your car. Now you'll be building your car with the help from a parent, guardian, teacher or mentor like myself and they're going to share the experience with you along the way and if you have any questions about anything or need some clarification about plans rules or regulations contact the soapbox derby team at their website the website has links to useful up-to-date information on rules and plans ordering kits or parts online and local race information now let's take a look at the tools you're going to need Brittany if you don't mind all right you're going to need two screwdrivers standard flat blade a little wider one and a number two Phillips there you go, Gavin, if you don't mind laying those out. All right, you're going to need an assortment of open-end box and wrenches ranging from 11 30 seconds to 3 8 to 7 16 and 1 half inch. All very common tools, easy to find. You'll need a little bitty 5 64 Allen wrench, so don't lose that. All right, two sets of pliers. You'll need regular and wire cutters. What do we got next there? Tape measure. Make sure your tape measure can read at least 10 feet or measure 10 feet. Standard hammer or mallet. What next? Oh yeah, we need two two by fours cut to roughly 18 inches in length for support. We need a C clamp, my favorite battery powered drill. You guys don't get to use this; it's all mine. Okay. All right. Next, we got contact cement, and lastly, some electrical tape. And I think that's everything. No, you know what? We're gonna need masking tape. You guys want to round that stuff up? Yeah. All right. And for tips on finishing your shell, just check out your plans or visit the website. Oh, just wait, one more thing. You might want to consider putting some tongue oil treatment on your floorboard. It's going to take a couple days to drive, but it's worth it. Keeps your car looking nice, right? Yeah. All right. Next, you're going to want to poke the holes in the floorboard so you can see where they're at, and then you'll flip the board over and clean the holes up. I like my assistants are doing here. Nice job. Now let's take a quick tour of the floorboard and some of the steps you'll be taking during this part of the building process. Starting from the front, you will find shell hole A. Step one is the steering stop. Step two is the foot brace. Step three is the king pin installation. Step four is the steering hardware. Step five is steering cable installation. Step six is the stabilizer installation. Step seven is brake pad installation. Step eight is the brake installation. Step nine is the weight bolt installation. Step 10 is the airfoil installation. Step 11 is axle alignment and triangulation. Step 12 is shell installation. Step 13 is signage, lettering, and decoration. Step 14 is wheel kit installation. Step 15 is an assembly checklist. We'll also give you tune-up hints along the way. Now you should take some time and read ahead in your plans, starting with step one, steering stop installation. 